number seven. So I've got y equals 2x plus 1, 2x minus y equals 3. So I'm going to use this equation up top because I have y by itself on one side. So I'm going to take this expression and we're going to substitute it in for this y right here. Now on this one, you have to be very careful. You could have got the correct answer, but actually did this wrong. So be really careful because what's happening here is I have 2x minus y. So when I substitute, if I replace the y with a 2x plus 1, what you'll see is that I have a minus sign outside of the parentheses. Now you'll also notice that I usually put the expression that I'm substituting in parentheses. And this is the reason, one of the reasons why. Because what's happening here is the y is being subtracted. The entire y is being subtracted. And if y is 2x plus 1, the whole 2x plus 1 has to be subtracted. So I need to subtract this whole expression. The way I show that happening is by putting my 1 in front here and distributing a negative 1 to everything inside. Subtracting something is like taking the opposite of it. So like if I'm subtracting three, I want the opposite of three, which is negative three. If I'm subtracting two X plus one, I'm going to take the opposite of each part and I'm going to have negative two X and negative one or minus two X minus one. Okay, now again, we're gonna look on this side of our equation and I have positive 2x, negative 2x, that's going to give me a zero. So I end up with my variables disappearing. My two numbers that are left are not equal to each other. That's no solution.